Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, January 14th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Terms of address. Hmm. It's not just names, is it? What one might use to lash out. And this is wordplay, so... I guess it's not about strong language? Is it about something you would literally lash out, like a lasso or a whip? Hmm. Genre prefix. Well, I guess it could be alt or emo. Hmm. I'm gonna guess alt. Capital on the island of Upolu. I've never heard of this island before. Places with multiple outlets. Oh man, outlets has so many meanings. I mean, it could be about an outlet mall, maybe. Could it be malls? Hmm. Tired excuses. And this is wordplay, so this is not about a cliched excuse. It's gotta be an excuse about tires, or maybe a vehicle with tires. Tired excuses. Is it like, I got a flat, or... Hmm, my car broke down, maybe? I don't know. Sister from another mister. Uh, maybe that's an in-law? No, that doesn't fit, does it? Hmm, it's not a half-sister. Is it about a religious sister? Is it a nun? Hmm, I don't know. We have a grid spanner here. Offer that can't be refused in business. Maybe that's a hostile takeover? Nice, that's a great entry for a grid spanner. Okay, tipped off. That could be alerted. Those letters look very good. Hmm. IA. Part of a river that ironically doesn't contain the mouth. Is that going to be the river head? That is pretty funny. Key in a corner. I think that's going to be the escape key on your keyboard. Word of woe, that's gotta be a lass. Easy, an equivalent phrase. Hmm. Uh, I kind of wanted to start with so. How would it end though? Hmm. Day in movies. I have a feeling this is a hidden proper noun. Is that gonna be Doris Day? Uh, is this so slow? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. What one might use to lash out. It's not a scarf. Oh, maybe it's talking about your eyelashes. This could be mascara. That's really funny. It would allow you to extend your lashes to bring them out. Wow, that is a really tricky clue. I love that one. Um, maybe this is ma'ams? Those are terms of address. Oof, I still have no idea here. Tired excuses. Hmm, I wonder if it's about being tired. Like being exhausted. Because it looks like it's gonna start with sleep, doesn't it? Hmm, is this a P? Design deets. Yeah, those are going to be specs. Let's put an L in here. Hmm. What is this? Sister. Is it a sorority sister? Man, this one's really tough. What do we have here? Copy machines? And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not about a Xerox machine in the office. Hmm, copy machines. Interesting, we're gonna need some help here. Fine neckwear. Is that gonna be 
a silk tie. Clothing portmanteau. I guess it could be a skirt. That's a skirt and shorts combo. Hmm. Copy machines. I wonder if this is going to be walkie talkies because you say copy when you received someone's message. That's really, really clever. Walkie talkies. I love it. That's another really great clue. Easy. Oh, it's go slow. Oh my God. That's not what I was thinking at all. I was thinking they were saying, oh, it's a piece of cake. Oh my goodness. Okay. And this is going to be a gal pal. Wow. Okay. So this is Apia. I've never heard of this. That's a tough one. Um, I don't think we have enough to get this long down yet. Designer Michael. Isn't that Michael Kors? I feel like I've seen that name before. Face Redner. That could be Ire if you're angry. Sign of Enforced Boundaries. Hmm. I wonder if that's just no trespassing. Yeah. Um, sign. Uh, am I spelling trespassing wrong? Is it like that? Hmm. Maybe. Tired excuses. Are these going to be sleepless nights? I guess so. Yeah. Foot the bill. That's got to be treat. Blank dee da. Well, la dee da. Word when you can't find the word. Hmm. I really want this to be whatchamacallit. That's really funny. What a great entry there. Hit sounds. It's not wax. Hmm. Engages in some outdoor recreation. Uh, recreation? I guess maybe it's hikes. Like fine wine, but not fine olive oil. I wonder if this is aged. I don't think they age olive oil. Soup sometimes served with Han Dam. I'm gonna guess that that's pho, the Vietnamese soup. I guess this is WAPS. It's kind of like a comic book sound effect. Okay, more on the up and up. And this is wordplay again, so it's not gonna be about being more honest. I wonder if it's just higher. Yeah, you're on the up and up, you're higher. Birthplace of Flamenco. Um, I definitely don't know this for sure, but I'm gonna guess it's Seville. That sounds like a pretty good guess. Drives away, that's gotta be Rappel's. Women's surfwear brand. I don't know if I've heard of this. Market event in brief, that's gonna be an initial public offering. Show off one's physique in a way. Looks like that's gonna be flex. Ride in space. This is another very, very tricky hidden proper noun. Just like Doris Day over here. This is gonna be Sally Ride. That is a very tricky one. She was an astronaut, yeah. Okay, so this is Roxy. I don't think I have heard of that. Fabled tooth takers. That'll be tooth fairies. Tiny bit. That is a skosh. That comes from the Japanese word skoshi, meaning a little. Blank Banos, California. Well, it's gotta be an A or an O. I've never heard of this place before. Tie up. That could be more if we're talking about tying up a boat at a pier. They come straight from the horse's mouth. Hmm. Um, is it going to be nays? That would be sounds straight from the horse's mouth. That's kind of a cute clue. Suit. That's got to be befit. Video game turn. I guess that's a life like in Super Mario Brothers. Unpleasant sound from a tuba. I don't think you want to hear a blat from a tuba. Balances. Hmm. 
balances. Balances has a few different meanings. It could be about keeping your balance. It could be about balancing your checkbook. Hmm. DOJ VIPs. I think this is going to be attorneys general. It's kind of funny that you put the S at the end of attorneys general, but I think that is what it's going to be. Um, maybe this is offsets. Yeah, you're kind of balancing something else. Patronize as a resort. That's got to be stay at. Outlaw. I don't think this is going to be a noun. It's not about an outlaw in the Old West. I think this is going to be a verb. It'll be ban. That's a little sneaky. One's unlikely to order the house wine, say. I think that's going to be wine snobs. Harry Belafonte catchword. I think that's going to be Deo from the Banana Boat song. Words to remember for short. Uh, I guess that's vocab, right? It's always good to have an expansive vocab when you're solving crossword puzzles. Go blank. Hmm. Go blank. I don't know about this one. Japanese tech giant. I think that's going to be NEC. Intrinsically, is that the Latin per se in itself? Go viral. Ooh, on the internet. Okay. Husky apparatus, I think, is going to be a dog sled. Taya of Madam Secretary. Okay, that's Taya Leone. Generic EG. I guess that could be an example of a drug, if you get a generic drug. So we have The Bachelor here, dated TV star, and this is wordplay, so this is not an old-fashioned TV star. Um, this has got to be about the reality TV series, right? I guess it can't be The Bachelor, maybe it's The Bachelorette. That would actually fit, yeah. Poetic palindrome. Okay, well, it's going to be an E. Um, I imagine it's going to be air before hardens. Yeah, that's going to be inures. Yeah, that's kind of making something more resilient. Go getter. Is that a tiger? Internet company whose logo is a cat wearing earphones. That is Napster. That is quite the blast from the past there says hey to say i guess that's just greets right fearlessness is that heart eject maybe that spew as a volcano might with the lava what do we have here cutesy to a fault that's gonna be twee so that leaves us with c for get it yeah that's a good equivalent phrase all right, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Saturday puzzle in under 20 minutes. That is a fantastic time for a Saturday puzzle. Yeah, this was a pretty nice smooth solve all the way through, but that doesn't mean there weren't any tricky clues in this puzzle. We had this pair of hidden proper nouns that I thought was very, very sneaky. Doris Day and Sally Ride on the same row here. I loved all of these really long entries. Look at all of these grid spanners. Yeah, we had four of them kind of interwoven in the center here. Hostile Takeover is fun. Sleepless Nights had a really fun punny clue. Tired Excuses. I loved this one. Whatchamacallit, what a fun entry. And The Bachelorette too. I really loved the clue for walkie-talkies, copy machines, that's very funny. And this one for mascara, what one might use to lash out. Yeah, I was definitely not thinking eyelashes at first here. This is a pretty fun literal clue too. They come straight from the horse's mouth for nays. Alright, well, I don't think we have to worry about any sleepless nights after that silky smooth Saturday solve. I hope you enjoyed solving that one with me. 
I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice long lazy Sunday solve. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.